better in B. Yes. Now, who knows the control question for uh, for four? Control, Allie. Yes. Is water a control variable or a manipulated variable? Control. control variable. Okay, but did the water have anything to do with it breaking? No. Yeah. It must have. Why? Must Jeremy, tell the class why the putting yes. water in must have. I wouldn't have put water in otherwise, right? Okay. Six. Uh, what else might What else might have happened to be besides besides putting both of them, uh, putting water in both of them, putting both of them in the freezer? What else might have happened? Uh, where's your name, Kate? Okay, uh, Darby. What else might have happened? Did you heat B? No. Who knows the control? Somebody I haven't called on. Tell me the control question for six. Somebody I haven't Jackie. Did you heat A? <coughs> no, I didn't heat either one of them. All right. Well, he didn't know that until I answered the question, so that, that means that's a good question, right? Okay. Well, the only question that's not a good question is one you already know the answer to, but you ask anyway. Okay. All right. Uh, eight. Who can think of something I might have done to one of them that I didn't do to the other? Chase? Did you have B in longer than A? No. They were in the same freezer on the same shelf at the same temperature that for the same amount of time. Those are all controlled variables. But any one of those could have been the manipulated variable until I told you the answer. Okay, well you might feel like we're not making any progress, but we are making progress. We know that they were both in the freezer and we know that they both had water in them. Okay, Jessica. We just put different types on heated and cold water. They both had room temperature water in it. What, Stevie? Did you put um, different types of Other than what? Water. No, they both had only water. They both had only water. Now, if there was any, that question was asked, was there water in there, was there water in there? Well, that's okay, but it didn't say, was there any water in A or B? So if they don't have any of in front of it, that means it's plain water. Okay, but, but that's kind of a fine piece of logic that a lot of people <clears throat> don't understand. Okay, what do you think, Mason? Uh, let's see, nine or eight. Did B have a lid? Yes. All right, now, somebody that hasn't participated yet, tell me the control question for eight. Who's somebody I haven't called on yet? Okay, I haven't called on Nathan yet. What's the control question, Nathan? Did A have a lid? No. In one word, who can tell me, raise your hand now, who can tell me what the manipulated variable is? In one word, Jake. Uh, What's the manipulated variable, Tanner? Lid. Lid. Lid is a manipulated variable. All right, now that we know the manipulated variable, it's possible to start a conclusion. Because B had a lid, but A didn't. All right. That's valid and reliable. Why is that valid and reliable? Why do we know that that's valid and reliable? What two things make make any conclusion valid and reliable? Emily? Oh, because the data doesn't refute it. Good, but the data do what? They don't refute it, but what, what do they do? Who knows what the data do? What? Well, good work. Support it. The data support it, but they don't refute it. Emily, 
Some people in the class may not know what the word refute means. Tell them what it means. Um, to if you refute a conclusion, something false. Right, it means to prove it false. Very important word to learn. Okay, well, this is valid and reliable, but it's not good because it doesn't tell you exactly how to set up the experiment. Does just putting a lid on a jar break it? No. no, not usually. So what did the lid have to do with the jar breaking? Does anybody want to guess at that, Darby? <laughs> I was thinking the water in it flows and expanded and it goes the water. She used a key word there. Expanded. Expanded. Does water expand when it freezes? Yes. I'm going to have you vote. Does water expand when it freezes? How many say yes? How many say no? Well, almost everybody says yes. All right, I'm going to ask you to prove it. Tell me about some something you have personally observed that proved that water expands when it freezes. Does this have to be something you personally observed now? Okay, Allie. If you put pasta in, like, is this not an open and you put it in the freezer and the next day you take it out. Or it's like it's cracked open. It, it, it punctured, right? How many of you have ever put a can of unopened pot in the freezer? Oh, we All right. So, how many have you, of you have ever found that the, the can punctured when it froze? Who can explain why it punctures when it freezes? Why does it, did anybody explain that? Janelle. Um, because it expanded and made it crack so it could, it could Okay, I'm going to tell you a story. I have several grandchildren and I take them on hikes on hot summer days and we always take them on some cold pop. This one time we were going to leave for a, a hike and we didn't have any cold pop. We were going to leave in about 15 minutes, so I put a six pack of pop in the freezer. Uh, uh, so that we'd have some cold pop when we left. I forgot to take the six pack of pop out of the freezer. Raise your hand if you want to describe what I saw six hours later when I opened the freezer door. Somebody that I haven't called on yet, I'll uh, give them a chance to, uh, okay, uh, Tia, what did I see, Tia? It exploded. There was pop all over the inside of the freezer and every one of the six cans was punctured. Who knows the main ingredient of soda pop? What? Jeremy? Um, Harley? Sugar! No! Sugar. Soda pop is 99% what, Shayla? Sodium? No! 99% what, Jeremy? Uh, carbon um, carbonated water? Well, you're not quite right. Shayla? Carbon dioxide? No. Soda pop is 99% what? What? No. <laughs> Jeremy. Water. <laughs> no. Who was it that said carbonated water? Oh, Jeremy. <laughs> well, it's just plain water. Soda pop is is a uh, is a uh, is just plain is ninety almost pure water with a few flavorings in and added. Uh, uh, the the, uh, the restaurants like McDonald's just love it when you buy a lot of soda pop because it costs hardly anything to make. No, uh, McDonald's has a really good deal going on. You can get two double cheeseburgers for a dollar. Fantastic bargain. They probably lose money on that. But they and other restaurants, fast food restaurants, know that almost everybody that buys a cheeseburger also buys a can container of pop, see? Well, Let's say they they sell the two cheeseburgers for a dollar and it costs them 99 cents to make it, so they only make a cent penny profit. But they charge a dollar for the pop and it, and it only costs a penny to make it, so how much profit do they make? A dollar. No. How much profit do they make if it only costs them a penny to make it? Emily. 99 cents. 99 cents. Yeah. How? That's what we make. How could 
That's just an exaggeration, but that, that you know that's an estimate. But but the reason they can give such fabulous bargains on some of these these foods you have to chew is because almost everybody that buys any food you have to chew at McDonald's also buys a container of pop, and the pop costs hardly anything to make. Okay, does water expand when it freezes? Okay, we've got the we've got the case of the uh, soda pop can. Who's observed something else besides the soda pop can that proves that water expands when it freezes? Jessica. Um, when like you have these popsicle things, and then you put popsicles in it, then the water freezes. Okay, when you put when you when you put popsicle liquid in the popsicle mold. If you, when you go to get them out of the freezer, they're bigger. Okay, that's another one. There's another one really common that almost all of you have done. What What is it, uh, uh, Wyatt? Um, when you put water into the freezer, it expands it. Um, what kind of water? Water in what, Wyatt? Um, water in what? Water in what, anybody? Classic Water and what? What's the most common thing you put put in, in, in the freezer with water? What? Oh, okay. Let's talk about the ice cube holder. Who's ever, who have ever, who's ever, well, maybe Chase has observed this. What have you observed that proved that water expands when it freezes, Chase, in conjunction with the ice cube holder? Has anybody ever noticed that? Chase isn't sure what to say. Janelle? Um, it expands because it can put just a little bit of water in it. Um, it gets bigger when you open it, and one time it put the all sticks out, all, all sorts of top of the ice cube Have you ever noticed that the ice cubes are higher than the water was? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, all right. Now, there's one more thing that nobody's mentioned. What do almost all of you, what have almost all of you put in the freezer at one time or another with water in it? What? A bottle of water. A water bottle. Okay. Raise your hand if you've ever put a, a bottle of water in the re, in the freezer. Most of you have. All right. Who can describe what the bottle looked like after the water froze? How did the bottle look different after the water froze? Jonathan? I see. Huh? Icy. Well, that's a pretty, pretty good, simple answer. It looked icy. Okay. What else? How did it look different, Stevie? It bulged out. Raise your hand if you've ever noticed that. Why did it bulge out? Who knows why it bulged out? Who knows that, Emily? Because the water froze and expanded. The water froze. Okay. Raise your hand if you now have enough proof that water expands when it freezes. Okay, well, you all have enough proof. Okay, does water expand when it freezes? Okay, well, we got a little bit uh, sidetracked here, but uh, all right, now, what does, the, what does the expansion of the water when it freezes have to do with deep breaking? Why did B break and A not break? Because they were both in the freezer. They both froze. Why did B break, do you suppose, Chase? Because it expanded and it didn't have anything to bulge out, so it was crowded. What did it have? It didn't have anything to bulge It didn't. Oh, it had a lid. That's right. Who can explain what the lid had to do with the, with the, with the jar breaking? Who can explain that? Megan? Um. Because it didn't have any room to expand. Okay. Here's jar A. Here's jar B. Identical jars. All right. Now, I exaggerated the shape because you may not have noticed that these jars are, are wider at the top than at the bottom. Yeah. I, I intentionally chose bottles that are wider at the top than at the bottom. Most bottles, most jars aren't that way. They have straight sides. These have tapered sides. Can anybody figure out why I chose jars with tapered sides? Why might, why, what might be a reason why I did that, Harley? Because, uh-oh, it like, it's like a switch. It like, at the bottom, it does not, it doesn't expand. Harley yeah, knows it, but he can't say it. Okay, <laughs> Emily, you try. So, uh, the one that can have the lid, the water would go up where there's more room. Yes. Right, right. The ice can expand upward easier. If, if I use straight-sided jars, they might break even without a lid. 
but this allows the, as the ice gets bigger and bigger, it can move upward and, and uh, expand. Okay, here's jar A and jar B. I fill them both with water. Okay, what's the next thing I did? Next thing, Darby. I put a lid on B. I put a lid on B. Okay. Then what did I do? Who knows what I did next, Jackie? What What did I do next, uh, uh, Tanner? I put them in the freezer. Then I went back six hours later and they were frozen. Who can tell me how to uh, modify this diagram to show how it looks six hours later? How did it look six hours later, uh, Allie? But on A, the ice would be right where the lid would be, so like above. Okay, I think this is what she's saying. The ice would be up like this after it froze together. Now, here's something most of you don't know, and most of your parents probably don't know this. Water expands by 8% when it freezes. It's 8% bigger. That's 1 12th. It's 1 12th bigger. When it freezes. Okay, so that's how that one looked when I opened the freezer. Who can tell me how this one looked when I opened the freezer? How did it look, uh, Stevie? The jar, this is how it looked. Okay, here's how it looked. There's the lid. There's a big chunk of ice. And there's the jar. That's how it looks. <laughs> okay. The water camera that freezes? All right. I think we have enough data that somebody should be able to explain completely why B broke and A didn't. Who wants to try to explain it completely? You try, Megan. When you because? Put, because what? When you put water in a jar and you put a lid on it, it will expand and the jar will break. And okay, she explained part of it. Who can explain the whole thing? Emily, you try to explain the whole thing. Um, because B had a lid on and A didn't, A could expand more and B couldn't, so B just... Okay. Now we're ready to write. We're ready to write a conclusion. We had that conclusion a long time ago. It was a tentative conclusion. Who remembers what the word tentative means? It's a synonym for tentative. When we're talking about a conclusion, anybody remember what? Temporary. Temporary. Right. Not final. Okay. We're going to make it final because B had a lid, but A didn't. When? The water in A and B froze, it, it did what? What word fits in there that makes sense? Quiet. Expanded. It expanded. Okay. A could A could expand upward, but B couldn't because of the blank, blank, blank. I want somebody who hasn't participated today to tell me what three-letter word goes in that, that set of blank. Somebody that hasn't participated now. I'm going to call on somebody if, if I don't get somebody that hasn't participated to raise your hand. Well, I thought I called a brand name.